Hey guys, how is it going? Today we're going to be playing some Demon's Souls. Why not, right? So let's just do a new game. I don't care about that. I don't need to be logged into the uh, thing. Um, let's see. Let's just do a, a, a preset. I don't really care too much about character creation. Whoops. It's actually got to be typed in. There we go. Now, I don't want to be a soldier. I want to be... A soldier is actually pretty good. I want to be a knight, though. All right, let's go. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Bior of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer, the sixth saint Astraea with her knight Gaal Vinland, and Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, why not? I might actually be able to defeat the first boss. Well, not really the first boss, I don't guess, but you know. Brave soul who fears not death. That weird other demon. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. I mean, I will try. All right. The enemies here should be very easy. Yeah, I have a slow roll right now. Not going to be able to backstab that guy, it seems. I don't even know what uh, starting gift I picked. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just like, get through character creation because that's the worst.
I don't care about character creation at all. Yeah, that slow roll though. Really sucks. But I will be able to find a ring that will help with my in my equipment burden. So I should be able to roll much faster. Not too much later in the game. I'm hoping I'll be able to defeat the first boss because there's a whole bunch of good items after that boss. And I would really like to get them. Yeah, this is actually my second attempt trying to record this game. I was just having some technical difficulties, but I think... I have it figured out now. I know there's another guy around here. There he is. Hiya. Okay, there's no item in here. You would think that there would be, but no. No item there. But there is one around here somewhere. I think it's around back. Yeah. More crescent moon grass. Now th there are some tougher enemies here. Not very many, but yeah, no, just like they're super easy. Still, especially if you get a, a two-hand backstab on them, and if you're any good, you can parry them. But I. <laughs> Yeah, not good at parrying. Not good at parrying at all. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do it pretty spot on to- oh, there we go. I actually got one. Wasn't expecting to actually get a parry. Nice. Yeah, that guy just guards. He doesn't really attack. So just, you know, two-hand your weapon, break his guard, and... Cut him into tiny little pieces. Because why not? Ow. How dare you shoot me with an arrow. Or a bolt, rather. There's a big pot there. There's a guy up here somewhere. There's actually two guys. There's another crossbow guy. Wow, and I missed. See, he should have dropped something. There we go. I don't think there's any items here. I'm going to have to heal a little bit. There's a guy around here too. And there's an item way down here that I want to grab. It is a half moon grass. Nice. I have seven of those. Not many. I probably should have grabbed could have grabbed some fire bombs as my gift. Oh, I think that is my gift. Huh. Oh well. I mean, that works. Dodge. Firebombs don't do a whole lot, but it's better than my sword. Might as well use every one of them. Alright. Uh, oh, that was a close one. Now it's time to two-hand. And those firebombs did not do anything, did they? Probably did more than my sword. Oh, 
don't want to be in front of this guy. Want to try to stay behind him as much as possible. Yeah, but this guy isn't too terribly tough. Well, I say as I get destroyed. I was just really trying to get him out into the open more. Trying to trick me there, guy. Sometimes it is hard to dodge some of his moves because they're telegraphed kind of weird. But it's not too bad. You just got to keep your stamina pretty high and only do one to two strikes. I'm going to heal because, yeah. I'd rather keep my health as high as I can. This ain't good. I'm right in front of him and I don't want to be. Okay, okay. That was close. Oh, he's going to do that again. And he's... Oh, and he's dead. Whew. He stepped on me at that last hit, and I was like, oh no, I'm about to die. But I guess not. Wow, nice. Awesome. Yeah, you don't get very many souls at all for that, for that guy. Unknown Egress. Yeah, there's a, a massive dragon here. That is, <laughs> yeah, crazy large monstrosity. Don't worry about me there, guy. Um, you just hang out there and be a dragon, do dragon things, and just leave me alone. I know I'm your typical knight in shining armor, but that doesn't mean I'm here to kill you. It's not like you have a princess captured or anything like that, right? I mean, maybe he does, and I just don't know it. Yep. <laughs> no way am I going to be able to... Oof. Survive. <laughs> Well, hell. He did a, a number on me. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Whoa, I'm alive! Pretty sure I was, like, decim decimated by that dragon thing, but somehow. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Somehow I'm still alive. Thou canst Just pass out in the middle of the floor. But the five archstones will guide thee to the outer land. I may have had one too many drinks. Nexial binding, okay. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls, or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. 
Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Boletaria? I mean, not really. I came here because I heard Boletaria has really good tea. See, there's a whole bunch of people to talk to. She says nothing. Um, he is the blacksmith. You here? Are you here for my services? Sure. My name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. Awesome. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? I suppose not. I suppose it's a pretty good deal. Let's see. I'm going to upgrade my weapon because I can. Nice. It is stronger now and I will repair... Okay, none of my equipment need repair. Do you have anything interesting to say? There's another blacksmith at the entrance to Stonefang Mine. He's an eccentric old man. He knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul-starved men. Hmm. If you do meet him, no, forget it. That stubborn old native will, will just chase you off. Anything else interesting? Smithing tools in this temple to handle all the work. Huh. Only certain ores can be used to forge weapons, but you'll just have to make do. And be thankful that I can do anything for you at all in this forsaken place. And be thankful. That I can okay. Do yep. He's Look done. Yeah, sure. I'm Stockpile Thomas. What's up, Thomas? When the Scuds came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. Oh, that sucks, man. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Awesome. I do have some excess baggage I'd like to get rid of. Um, All of these. Let's see. I'll uh, put these up. I really wish I could put that up, but I uh, still have it equipped. Oh, well. And we'll put up the Iron Helm. It's got the same stats as uh, Your goods are safe and sound with me. as my helmet. Best of luck to you. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a coward. Well, I mean, demons are super powerful, right? When I came to, I was in this nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. Hmm. I wish I could do more. But <laughs> I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. That candle maiden cared for me during my first days here. Huh. She says very little, but has a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. Poor, poor girl. Trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. Well, I'm pretty sure anyone who is uh, in the Nexus can't get out of the Nexus. So, if she's here, she's pretty much stuck. While I'm here, I'm just going to uh, unequip that. But... I think that's enough Demon's Souls for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.